What is up guys? The next Coolify service that we're going to be self-hosting is called Umami. And I'm very excited for this one because not only is it an alternative to Google Analytics, but it is also an alternative to Plausible, which I have created a video earlier on. And I actually prefer it rather than Plausible. And I've been using Plausible for my actual websites, but I'm going to be switching to Umami. I think it's worth it. And so once we've self-hosted it, it will look like this. You'll get a dashboard that looks like this and you'll be able to add in your websites and also create reports and all this out of the box and very easy to use. So let me show you how to self host it. We're going to go into Coolify and in the projects tab, hit the add button, call it whatever you like. I'm going to call it Umami. Then click on the production environment, click on add a new resource. And then we're going to search for Umami and select it. Now I have a two server set up where Coolify is running on localhost. So I set up all my other apps on my second server and I would highly recommend that you do something similar. That way, if one of your apps crashes, it doesn't actually crash your Coolify server. So I'm going to hit on the second server and now we are almost done. I'm going to shorten the URL here to use analytics.selfhosteverything.com and then I hit save. And now we are ready to deploy. So let's just go ahead and do that. Now that our service has started, let's close that here and open it up in a new tab. And we are almost ready. So the default username and password is admin. And then the password is umami. So let me just show you that. Then hit login when you're ready. And there you go. We have self hosted umami. You probably want to change the password. And uh, this is the dashboard. We can go to the settings here and then add our first website. Call it your website name and add in your domain. And I don't believe you need to add in the HTTP or the protocol more specifically. So go ahead and hit save and then hit the edit button so that you can go and grab your tracking code. And then you copy that into the head section of your HTML of the website. And that's it. And once you have that tracking code set up, you'll start getting views that will show up on your statistics. And Umami comes with the dashboard, but also you can hit view details to view more significant details. And I love their UI. Here you can filter specific events, sessions, if anybody is on the website right now, you would be able to see it as well. So then we can go into reports and you can create a report. For example, with a journey, you could create a journey so you can see the drop off from one step to another. And I'll just show you the documentation so you get a visual representation of that since I don't have actual statistics. But for example, you would set up a series of steps. So you would say five steps and then it starts at the main home page and then the end step is the pricing page. So then you run the query and you'll get results just like this. So that's it. That's how you use Umami. And the documentation is super straightforward, which I love. And you just access it with this link right here, umami.is slash docs. So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, this is part of a series where I go through every single Coolify service. So consider subscribing if this was helpful in any way. That's going to be it for me. I will see you in the next video.